These are the 25 most hilarious moments this NBA season. And coming in at number 25, Joel and B gets stuck with the wrong crowd. I think that B right now feeling the groove inside Vivid Arena. Sheesh, my man sticks out like a sore thumb. Just like Kyle Kuzma, who pulled up to the game ready for an Arctic storm. Oh, wow, that is wow. Oh, please. Oh. Bro style is so humorous, you couldn't even pay people to wear that. That is, unless you're Russell Westbrook. On the other hand, Josh Giddy has a completely different problem, inbounding the ball. Damn, why the backboard gotta do OKC like that? But it's one thing to have a grudge against the backboard, it's another to almost give your brother a heart attack. And all in a maze and like just some of the things that he does, or they're just expected at this point in time. <laughs> Damn. Steph might be the older brother, but Chef Curry got got this time around. However, at least Steph wasn't caught simping at the White House, or better yet, he didn't shoot an air ball right after doing the shimmy, because those hilarious moments are still to come. But first, it's the 21st most hilarious moment. The time a pregame ritual went terribly wrong. See, if you follow LeBron James closely over his 20-year career, you'll realize he's a very meticulous and repetitive person. Because every game, one thing he always does to get his mind straight, throwing powder in the air. That said, Anthony Davis isn't the biggest fan of this ritual. As he continues to chase Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the NBA's all-time leading scorer. And the Clippers have only had... Yo, my G just violated his own teammate. But that's still not as cold-blooded as what Steven Adams once endured. Away from the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies have a final day to still know the facts. Steven Adams trying to fastball to the team. Well, I'll be damned. Dude ain't even in the game yet, and they're already trying to give him a concussion. However, would you rather get smacked in the head with the ball or go airborne into the stands? Choose wisely. Now the rookie Christie on man. And now the ball comes into the seats, up and over. The first row, he took a hard fall. Not gonna lie. Those are some lucky fans. LBJ is precious cargo. Just like Larry Nance Jr. is also lucky, since one time he experienced something naughty. The Willie Green is so well, I can remember Willie Green when he plays the Detroit Mercy. Come on, Kevin. Why do you got to do my mans like that? People pay for those privileges, which reminds me of a commentator who makes some serious dough, despite saying one of the most out-of-pocket lines you'll ever hear. Box against Kelvin Johnson. Off the Sabonis screen. Fox is on that black Air Force energy right now. Someone needs to help my man come up with new material. That said, Patrick Beverly also needs some help with acting. The Clippers. Beverly had it stripped by man. Patrick Beverly going down like he got hit in the head. He did not get hit in the head. <laughs> that was a pretty good acting uh, job. Professional athletes like The Rock made the transition to Hollywood. But Beverly better not get any ideas. Otherwise, we're going to need to buckle up. But now you can loosen your seatbelt. Because it's not The Rock. It's not Patrick Beverly. It's John Collins. Since on December 21st, 2022, the Bulls and the Hawks went head to head. And let's just say this game didn't disappoint. Because with only four seconds remaining, the score was all square at 108 apiece. However, that's when two crazy things happened. Happened. The first of which being an epic game winner. The second of which, well, you have to find out for yourself. Gets it in. It's going to be DeRozan to try to win the ball. Air ball. Stick ball is good at the buzzer. And Chicago wins it. Oh, my goodness. We all dream of being at the bottom of a celebratory pile. But this? Now, that's a man's worst nightmare. Although, at least he's not Draymond Green. Because within the span of a few seconds, bro had not one, but two brain farts. If Ben Simmons and Paul George ever had a child, it'd be this play. But if those were brain farts, then I don't even know what's going on inside the brains of Heat fans. Time to shine bright. Cell phones out. Flashes on. Because it's showtime. It's 
official. An English teacher's worst fear has been confirmed. Either that or these fans drink a few too many beers. However, now it's the time a game ball travel to another planet. McCullum back to Hayes. And he not only threw that into the seats, John, that went like six rows up into the seats. It's bad enough a pass goes over your teammate's head, let alone reaches the sixth row. Now, I expected that from Jackson Hayes, but I definitely didn't expect Jason Tatum to do this. Oh, yeah. You knew who was getting that. You knew who was getting that. Richard Stokes had been training. That didn't slip out of his hands. All right, here's the, here's the hustle. Richard, Hauser, Hauser, Tatum, Rocket. Someone's been eating too many Butterfingers and not enough Snickers. Now that we've reached the top 10, these moments are so hilarious, you might need to hold back some tears. Starting with the time an NBA All-Star called another player smelly. You see, Luke Cornette is taking the basketball world by storm. At a staggering height of 7'2 and superhuman wingspan, Cornette does something few NBA players can. He can block the shooter's view of the rim by just putting up his hands. In other words, Bro can contest shots 10 feet away and somehow still get away with it. Or at least he can when the shooter isn't Joel and B. Back out to B. Lines up the seeds has all day and drills it. And I just saw the double eclipse. Bloody. Blue Cornette jumped in the middle of the lane. Everyone is smelly at one point or another, but not everyone is a seven foot, 279 pound point guard wannabe. Pass stolen by Drummond. Two on one. Andre Drummond wants to travel to Europe anytime soon, he's got to take some lessons from Dwayne Wade ASAP. However, next, imagine what it would be like to live in a video game, Ooh. something Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart experienced firsthand. We're thinking the NBA wasn't scripted. The Celtics literally have two NPCs on their team. On the other hand, Patrick Beverly is definitely not an NPC since bro is hella toxic. They're, they're, they're walking like zombies too because they're stunned. They have themselves How's they really gonna sit there and let another player make fun of his signature celebration? Bro's lucky punches weren't thrown. Since, believe it or not, Damian Lillard is actually a huge fan of boxing. He would regularly watch major boxing bouts with his entire family, even claiming that boxing is his favorite sport to watch. After all, Lillard knows the best part about boxing isn't the punches being thrown or the rivalries being formed. It's subscribing to the channel. But next up, forget about throwing punches and think about water showers? The date was November 19, 2022, and the Pacers were coming off an impressive victory, led none other by Aaron Naismith, a relatively unknown small forward who put together his greatest performance so far, scoring an impressive 19 points on 5 for 8, shooting behind the arc. So when the game was over, you already know his teammates had to celebrate. Or when you had those early baskets go, did it help your defense and your rebounding? safe to say the surprise celebration didn't go as planned. Just like the Sixers and Nuggets game went anything but expected. Pay close attention to James Harden and you'll see why. And we got a stoppage of play. Not sure what happened. Ain't no way. My G just deflected a pass from the bench and then played it off like it was nothing. That's outrageous. And speaking of which, Andrew Wiggins is even more outrageous. Since following their 2022 NBA Finals victory, the Warriors have had an opportunity to attend the White House. But while most players were excited to meet Joe Biden and President Kamala Harris, Wiggins was too distracted by something else. Kamala Harris's caboose. Yo, bro just got caught in 4K. Which brings us to the three funniest NBA moments from this NBA season so far. And trust me, you don't want to get too comfortable. And it's only right we start with the man, the myth, the sharpshooter, Stephen Curry. Because on January 1st, 2023, one of the Western Conference's biggest rivalries was taking place. Warriors versus Grizzlies. And with less than 75 seconds left, the Warriors held on to a vulnerable two-point lead. When suddenly, things took a very unexpected turn. David Chenzo in a play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Opportunity for Memphis. Ejected? 
However, Jordan Poole wasn't about to let a Curryless Warriors fall short of their goals. So when the game reached the climax, Poole clutched up and hit the game winner. Only he wasn't about to let Curry forget his costly temper tantrum. Because afterward, this took place. Jordan Poole is not only Timothy, he's a savage as well. That said, it doesn't even come close to when James Harden chose savagery. Because on October 18, 2022, Harden pulled an all-time great ankle breaker and an all-time toxic celebration prior to looking like the ultimate buffoon. And then a left-handed jump off from a point guard. There's no denying it. This shot takes selling the bag to a whole new level. However, it doesn't top our list. It's one moment that fans simply can't get enough of. Not because it's a foolish play or because it's a one in a million moment, but because it's nostalgia. Since we all have those awkward moments with the opposite gender. Those moments that make us blush and cringe. The moments that make every part of your body tense up. And most importantly, those embarrassing moments you simply can't forget. Well, believe it or not, NBA players are also prone to these moments. Don't believe me? Just ask Austin Reeves. It may be 2023, but these are simply some things that stand the test of time and every boomer can relate. This is one of those moments. Unfortunately, we'll never be able to eliminate these cringeworthy interactions. And do you know what else doesn't seem to go away? LeBron James. Because 20 years in, our man is still doing things we've never seen before. I'm talking back-to-back spin moves, epic no-look passes, and breaking NBA records people didn't even think were possible to break. These are the 27 times LeBron James went off this season. So what are you waiting for? Click the video, or else LeBron is going to posterize you next. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. This is Mars Plus TV and please don't forget to subscribe if today is your first time watching. Thank you, stay blessed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.